welcome back to my channel being Louisa. So I haven't done a video in about two weeks, but that's just because I was in this weird place. I, I was stressed out and kind of demotivated, but motivated all at the same time to do work. It was really weird. And I'd also just quit my job. Well, that's like, I quit my job about three weeks. I gave my notice three weeks ago. I had my last shift last week. But anyway, so that was great. <laughs> but otherwise, I've been stressed out with college. I think everyone in my class kind of went through this phase of, I don't care, but I care so much. Like we were so demotivated, but we were all motivated at the same time. Like, I don't know, it was really strange. Like everyone literally went through these phases of just not really having a great time, <laughs> but all wanting to do really well because we want to further our careers into becoming nurses, midwives, and ODPs. So it was a totally strange thing. Like everyone in my class went through this moment of, bleh. <laughs> but yeah, like me personally, I've been like, trying to do my assignments like I have all the knowledge to do my assignments like I literally have everything in my brain or on paper but when I go to my laptop to write up my assignment I literally just freeze like I like, it's like I get writer's block I, I just get blocked so I'm like oh no <laughs> but I think I'm finally getting over that so that's great I actually did my last test for universities on Wednesday I had my city university of London test so that's great and then the next day I actually heard back from them saying that I passed the maths in English and they're just looking at my aptitude test and then they'll let me know if I have an interview or not. Not. <laughs> if I have an interview or not. And then also on that day, which is what this video is about by the way. So I had the King's University Selection Day, which was the test and the interviews, more time mini interviews, all in one day. And I had that when I posted the vid my last video. So that was about two weeks ago. And that was a crazy day. Like, I've, I've never had an interview like that and it was just really weird. So I wasn't sure how I did. Like my first lady, I was had her last and I loved her. She was the best. She was like, and she was really expressive, but everyone else was very like this. And like, I'm like, am I, am I saying it right? Am, am I saying the right thing? Uh, do I need to say something else? Like it was so weird. <laughs> but yeah, but, I must have done great because I got an email from them on Thursday. Basically, it was like, Dear Louisa, unfortunately, we are not able to offer you a place on our midwifery BSc program as we are oversubscribed and it's highly competitive. At that, I got you to cry. I was like, no. Because like, I really actually started to like that program. Like, talking to the student midwives, it was really cool. cool. So I was like, oh, I really like this place. And plus, like, it's the name. It's really prestigious. Like, if you say to someone, yeah, I go to King's, they're like, ooh, fancy. <laughs> and so I was uh, reading that part, I was, like, really bummed out. But then it goes. However, upon looking at your application and your score from the selection day event, we would like to make you an ultimate offer. Reading that, <laughs> upon reading that, I was like, um, what? Okay, like, I didn't know they could do that. And I was kind of like, hey, maybe they're going to offer me child nursing because, you know, midwifery, child nursing. It just makes sense, right? I feel like it makes sense. But <laughs> then it goes, as we still have places left, we would like to offer you a place on our adult nursing program. Okay, I did not understand that one. I was not expecting that. I was like, adult nursing? Not child nursing. Adult nursing. I want to be a midwife. I want to be a midwife. And you get offered me adult nursing. Like, I was so confused by this. Like, so confused. Like, I was to the point of so confused, I called my sister and gone straight away and I, like, talk, was talking to her about it because my mum wasn't home yet. So I was like, what does this mean? And like, I was like, I don't understand. So I'm making this video to ask you guys, if this has happened to you, like, what do I do? Do I accept the offer or and, like, have it as a safety net or do I decline it? and let someone else have that place that actually wants to do adult nursing. I don't know what to do, because what if I don't get offers from the other two universities that I have interviews left with? Like, what if I don't get offers from that? Do I have it as a backup? Like, what do I do? So it's just really weird, though, to have this opportunity, like this thing, like this carrot just dangled right in front of me. And you have this, you can have this as a backup, or you can have this as like your first choice. Like, I don't know what to do. Because it's amazing, King's College London actually want me, but, not as a midwife, as a nurse. I don't know, it's just like, to me it's weird, I don't know, it's, I feel like, I don't know how to feel, that's the thing, I don't know how to feel, and I don't know what to think, and I need your help. Like, so if this has happened to you, or if you, or if you know anyone that this has happened to, please comment down below and let me know. I do not know what to do, so I need your help, you guys, I really need your help, so please comment down below. You can give me your advice, because I need it. 
so bad because I have no idea what to do. And it's still basically the same entry requirements as well. It's 30 extensions and 12 merits. So it's still the same entry requirements. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. Thumbs it, give it a big thumbs up as well. And don't forget to comment down below to let me know what to do. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye y'all. Paper based which I love. I love good old fashioned writing, you know. Pen